Hi, in this video we are going to look at how to set up and configure the open source Gala Swap trading bot that Gala released here on GitHub. This bot comes with some out of the box functionality for sniping good trades and also for creating liquidity. And it is fully open source TypeScript code, so you can customize it for your own needs or just use it as a reference. Here we are looking at the code repository on GitHub, and you can find the link to here in the video description below. There is a readme file here that explains how to set up and configure the bot, and we are going to walk through that process and start doing some trading. The first thing we need to do is get the code. If you have git, then you can run this command to clone the code repository, or you can come up here and download the code as a zip file, which is what I am going to do. After downloading it, you can extract it, and then you can move it anywhere on your machine, but I am just going to leave it here in my downloads folder. Now back to the readme, where we are going to go through the installation section. First, you need Docker. On Windows, that is just a matter of following the link and downloading and running an installer. Once installation completes, you will likely need to log out or reboot. Now we have rebooted and Docker started up automatically to complete the setup process. We can continue through these screens. And once Docker Engine has finished launching, which may take a while, we should be looking at a window like this. To confirm that Docker is working as expected, we can open PowerShell and run docker run hello world. Installation appears to be working correctly, so that's great. Now back in the Gala Swap bot readme, we can move on to the next step, which is to create a Discord webhook so that the bot can post updates in our Discord server. You can skip this step if you want, but then the bot will just output updates to the terminal, which will be harder to read. To create a Discord webhook, go to a Discord server that you own or are an admin in, find the channel that you want the bot to send messages in, Go into Channel Settings, Integrations, Create Webhook, and now you have a new webhook here. You can change its name, and then copy the webhook URL, and save that somewhere because we will need it soon. Then make sure to click Save Changes down here. Back to the README once again, the next step is to install Node.js, assuming you want to modify and test the code. If you just want to use the bot's default out-of-the-box functionality, then you can skip this step, so we're not going to cover it in depth here. The next section in the README is configuration. First, on Windows, make sure that you have Explorer configured to show file name extensions. You need that to be turned on here. Then, in the folder containing the bot's code, we need to create a new file named .env. Not .env.txt, just .env. Windows will warn you here about changing a file name extension, but you can just click yes. Then open this file in Notepad or some other text editor and copy the example configuration here from the readme into this new file. Now we need to add our own values for these three fields. First, pick a password for your database and add it as the first value. It can be anything. It, it can just be a random string of characters like I am doing here. It doesn't really matter that much. The next step is to get our GalaChain wallet address and private key. There's a link here to the official GalaSwap API documentation, which explains that process in detail. 
So let's go there. Down here under getting your private key, there is a link to Gala account settings where you can get your private key. You have to use this link. You cannot just manually navigate to account settings on games.gala.com because that will make it download your private key encrypted, which is not what we need. So click this link and then you can download private key, enter your transfer code, and that will download a file with your private key. Now to make things simpler and clearer, I am going to show the actual private key for this account, which you should never do with your own private key, since whoever has your private key can take over your wallet. After I'm done filming this, I'm going to move all of the funds out of this wallet and delete it. So don't get any ideas. By the way, if you don't have a transfer code yet, you would first have to create one here in account settings, and then you would have to close out of this page and use the link in the GalaSwap API documentation again. So now we have our wallet address and private key here. So we can copy our wallet address over into that .env file. And then also our private key needs to be copied over. Then make sure to save. And then let's go back to the readme. There's some optional configuration here. And we will also copy that and copy that into this .env file as well. The only one of these we're going to use is Discord webhook URI. So we can delete the rest of these. And then that Discord webhook URI that we got earlier, we should take that and copy it in here. The final piece of configuration here is to configure what we want the bot to trade. For this demo, we are going to set up the bot to try to buy USDC and USDT using its Gala. The configuration options are all explained in depth here in the readme. For what we want to do, we are going to go into the config folder and open up basic swap acceptor.json. This controls how the bot decides when to accept a swap. It already has some example configuration here to trade USDC for Gala and also for the other direction, trading Gala for USDC but we want to trade Gala for USDC and USDT. So I am going to delete this first one here that trades USDC for Gala. And that leaves us with this one that trades Gala for USDC. And I'm going to copy that and add another entry here and just change this to USDT. So now we are trading Gala for USDC and also Gala for USDT. And I'm going to change the rate on both of these to two. And that will make the bot only accept really good trades. We will talk more about what that number means specifically in a little bit. It will make more sense when we're looking at the Gala Swap UI. So we can save that file. We're done there. And I'm also going to change basic swap creator.json. This file controls how the bot decides what swaps to create. And we're going to make similar changes here under target active swaps, where we have a list of swaps that we want the bot to create and maintain. The first one here creates swaps where the bot will give USDC in return for Gala, which we don't want. So I'm going to delete that one. And now we only have this one where we are giving Gala and receiving USDC. So I'm going to, first of all, change the target profitability here to two. And once again, we'll talk about that more in a little bit. I'll change the min profitability to 1.9. I'll change the max profitability to three. And then I'm going to change the target giving size to 50. And that will make the bot create swaps where it's giving 50 gallon. 
Then I'm going to copy this and paste it. And then I'll change the second one here to USDT. So now we're once again trading Gala for USDC and Gala for USDT. Next down here under receiving token rounding configs, we need to add an entry for USDT. It only has an entry for Gala and for USDC currently, but it needs to have an entry for any token that we're trying to buy. So I'll copy this USDC one, and then just change that to USDT. So this controls how many decimal places the bot will use when it decides how much USDT or USDC to ask for. Since we're using two decimal places, the bot might ask for 9.98 USDC or 9.99 USDC, but it would never ask for 9.985 USD, for example, since that would be using three decimal places. Finally, down here under creation limits, we need to add an entry for Gala to USDT. So we'll copy this one, which is Gala to USDC. And once again, we'll just change that to USDT. And this just establishes a limit for how many trades from Gala to USDC the bot will make in a certain period of time and from Gala to USDC, we have the same configuration. If you want to know more about what these options all specifically mean, then just check out the readme. It explains all of that. So that's it for this file. We can save that. Now we are done with configuration so we can move on to this running the bot section. As it says here in the readme, we can build and run it with Docker. So I will take this docker compose up command here minus the sudo part which is not necessary on windows and i will open powershell in the code folder and i will run that command so now the bot has started and we should see it starting to create trades if we go and check our discord so there it is, the bot's creating a swap for 50 Gala, and it wants 2.72 USDC in return. And here's the one for USDT. So once again, it's offering 50 Gala, and it's asking for 2.72 USDT in return. It will also accept other people's swaps if there are any matching its configuration, but it doesn't look like there are any right now. So now we can go to GalaSwap and we can check out our account. And we can see here those two new swaps under your active offers on the main page. It's offering 50 Gala, which is worth about $1.36. And it's asking for 2.72 USDT and USDC, which is $2.72 worth. So that's exactly double the value of 50 Gala. So that's what that two meant earlier when we set the target profitability to two, is that the bot's asking for twice as much worth of USDT and USDC as it's offering in Gala. And if you remember, we set the minimum profitability to 1.9. So if the price of Gala changes such that the USDT and USDC over here are worth less than 1.9 times how much 50 Gala is worth, then the bot is going to cancel these swaps and then recreate them asking for a different amount of USDC and USDT. So that is how the bot's default trading strategies work, and that functionality can be useful for sniping good trades and providing liquidity, but if you want to calculate trading indicators or use AI to sentiment analyze breaking news articles or anything more advanced like that, then you can modify this code to do whatever you want or just use it as a reference to build your own bot from scratch. This bot's code is written completely in TypeScript and is open source, so of course you can just change whatever you want about it, but there's also a section here in the readme that discusses how you could implement your own strategies and fit them into the way the bot currently works. 
That is all we're going to cover here today. If you have any questions about GalaSwap or about Gala in general, check out the Gala Discord server in the links below.